Yeah, okay, so this is Kerry. Yep, I'm the idiot who blew up his own AND generator trying to get a weird AVR25 voltage regulator to work on the silly thing, but uh, I vindicated myself tonight and actually got it to work. So, making this little video blog to kind of show you how that actually works. So, uh, we're actually running on generator power right now. As you can see, uh, the house is lit and uh, it's fairly stable. Um, lights aren't blinking or wigging out or anything weird like they have been when I was using voltage regulator boards. Um, come back to that little control panel here in just a second. Uh, I'm going to head right on down into the basement where the uh, transfer switch is. Uh, just to kind of walk you all through what's going on here. So uh, I have this uh, 240 volt light bulb on the bottom of my transfer switch that's basically what that light is and uh, can't really see it very well but there's the inside of my transfer switch and uh, to prove that we really actually are on uh, generator power I'm going to kill the power of the house now this is the main breaker and it is off and uh, you can see the power didn't go out because we're actually on generator power now so uh, let's go out and take a look at some other things here. Uh, heading back upstairs now. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, meter panel first. Uh, kind of built this uh, as another project. Uh, so this meter panel is LED based. And the top two, uh, uh, four LEDs, the two green ones that are off right now are line power they're off because I just threw that breaker in the basement and the two uh, red lights that are on at the top there that's uh, generator power line one and line two uh, you can see that we're running at 60 Hertz uh, pretty stable there uh, got my voltage set pretty high at around 127 on one leg and 124 on another and this is the fun part. I actually have actual amp meters. These are uh, shunt based LED uh, amp meters. And we're running 3.1 on one side and 13.4 on the other. So right now we're not even very load balanced. It's kind of unbalanced as you can see. Uh, anyways, um, let's go out to the garage where I have the Contrology AVR25 on the floor with clip wires in very ugly prototype fashion probably aren't going to be able to hear me very well out there with the generator running so I'm not going to talk much once we get into the garage uh, here we are approaching the garage door with the generator running so here we go
that noisy place. So what I was uh, doing there, uh, I was purposely hitting the uh, stop button on the generator to slow it down uh, in an attempt to illustrate by looking at the field voltage light bulb, the big heat lamp that was barely lit. You, know, you should have noticed as the generator started to spin down that that uh, actually got brighter for a second or two as it was compensating for the uh, for the lack of power. Now uh, let's do a little bit of load testing here. So right now uh, we don't have a whole lot of load on it but I can I can fix that relatively easy. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm going to my thermostat and I'm turning on the air conditioning. I have a unique uh, air conditioning system in my house. I'm setting the temperature to about 60. It's uh, towards the end of October here in Indiana, so it's kind of chilly outside anyway. Wouldn't normally run your air conditioner now, but... Uh, okay, so my air conditioning set up uh, so that I actually have switches up here that will uh, let me select which air conditioner I want to control with that thermostat. And uh, right now they're both set to off, so what's happened now is the thermostat's calling for cool. It has turned the uh, the blower motor on on my furnace. I kicked the amps up just a little bit there. As you can see, we are close to 7.6 amps now on that line. I actually have status LEDs over here for things like that. And uh, that yellow one is the fan motor. Okay, so now coming over here, um, if I hit the window button, uh, that will turn on this big window air conditioner here, which has a pretty high startup current, and that is a uh, that is a ton and a half uh, window air conditioner. So it's a pretty big one. So here we go. Uh, you'll note the uh, the light will dim for a second. Our voltage and current will change. As you can see, though. Um, if anything, the voltage actually went up rather than down. Uh, we're at uh, now 16.7 amps and at 125 volts. Uh, we're still pretty stable on the power. It's not perfect, but uh, it, it's uh, it's flickering maybe just a little bit there, but not not too bad. Um, now what I'll do is I will uh, I will turn that off here at the thermostat. And let me see, I'm going to go to system off, and you'll note the uh, change in power, and we're back down to 7.6. Um, the voltage maybe went up a, a volt there. Um, so the regulator's doing its job, staying right at 60. So uh, that Contrology AVR25 appears to be working pretty well for this setup. Alright, thanks for watching.